नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू द ट्यूटोरियल ऑन प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन ग्राम स्किमेट ऑर्थोगोनाइजेशन प्रोसेस पार्ट वन बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर फॉर द प्रॉब्लम्स लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज अ ग्राम स्किमेट ऑर्थोगोनाइजेशन प्रोसेस इफ सपोज वी वेन वी टू अप टू वी एन फॉर्म्स द बेसिस ऑफ इन अ प्रोडक्ट स्पेस वी देन बाई यूजिंग दीज बेसिस वी कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट द ऑर्थोगोनल बेसिस दैट इज डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू up to w n called the inner product space v so here the steps follows that first orthogonal basis w1 can be set equal to the given basis that is v1 and then the next basis this orthogonal basis we can evaluate by calculating this term in terms of the next uh, non orthogonal basis that is v2 and the calculated orthogonal basis that is w1 and similarly we will proceed further term by term to get our all orthogonal basis so generally the v1 v2 up to vn are not orthogonal but by using these uh, non orthogonal basis we can construct the orthogonal basis if we follow these steps so last proceed towards the problem so here uh, we will see how to construct the orthonormal set of vectors that is u1 u2 up to un from the given linearly independent set of x1 x2 and up to xn so here the problem statement is that we will use a gram schemat orthonormalization process to construct the orthonormal set of vectors from the linearly independent set that is x1 x2 x3 which values are shown over here now you might be surprised to see the term here is the orthonormalization process so here what we do we use the gram schemat orthonormalization process itself to get the orthogonal basis and after normalizing these uh, bases we will get orthonormal set of the bases so let's proceed with the solution so first as per the uh, gram schemat orthogonalization process we will set the first orthogonal vector is equal to the first linearly independent vector that is x1 in the step 2 we will compute a term that is x2 minus in a product of x2 with w1 divided by the in a product of w1 with itself and this whole term multiplied by w1 and after substituting the values of this in a products this factor reduced to x2 minus w1 and therefore this factor is equal to 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 now we will set this factor is equal to next orthogonal vector that is a w2 now by using w1 and w2 also by using x1 x2 and x3 we will compute the next factor which is shown over here and then that factor will give us the value that is minus 1 by 3 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 after simplifying it and substituting the respective values of x3 w2 and w1 now by clearing the fractions of this term and we can set w3 is equal to minus 1 1 and 2 from this computation now these are forms the orthogonal set of the vectors but we want orthonormal so therefore we will normalize these vectors to get our orthonormal set of vectors that is u1 u2 u3 so simply we will uh, to get u1 we will divide w1 with its norm value similarly u2 we can calculate by dividing w2 with its non norm value and u3 we can calculate by dividing its uh, 
by uh, dividing W3 with its norm value. And hence, we find out the orthonormal set of vectors that is W1, U2 and U3 from the linearly independent set of X1, X2, X3. These are our references. Thank you.